Chapter 2 Troubleshooting Troubleshooting is a process and an act that one never wants to go through since there is never a good time for a problem to occur. If keyboard has stopped working, your monitor is hard to read, the network is down, your printer is not working and a witty burning smell is coming from your computer. Here is what you could do as your success in eliminating a problem depends on a few factors. When you receive an error message and how detailed and accurate that message is. The accuracy and thoroughness of the documentation. Windows 7 Troubleshooting Tools Windows 7 is loaded with brand new element called the Windows Troubleshooting option, which lets you use and try to resolve hardware and software problems yourself. Microsoft has included many troubleshooting programs in Windows 7. To start troubleshooting program, click on Start button and hover your mouse pointer on Control Panel option. Then on All Control Panel items, a new window will appear with different options. Click on Troubleshooting. Or type Troubleshooting in search box located at bottom in Start menu and press Enter. This opens the troubleshooting item in Control Panel. Following is the list of few built-in Windows 7 troubleshooters. Arrow Troubleshoot problems that prevent you from experiencing arrow animations and effects. Browse the web Troubleshoot problems that prevent you from browsing the web with Internet Explorer. Connection to a shared folder Access shared folder and folders on other PCs. Hardware and Devices Troubleshoot problems with hardware and devices. Incoming connection Allows other PCs to connect to this computer. Internet connections Connects to the internet or to a particular website. Maintenance Clean up unused files and shortcuts and perform other maintenance tasks. Networking adapter Troubleshoot Ethernet, wireless or other network adapters. Performance Adjust settings in Windows that can help to improve overall speed and performance. Play sound Troubleshoot problems that prevent your PC from playing sound. Power Adjust power settings to improve battery life and reduce power consumption. Printer Troubleshoot problems that prevent you from using a printer. Keyboard problem In case your keyboard stops working, there are several checks you can go through to resolve the problem. Check 1. Make sure that the keyboard is properly plugged into the computer. A loose connection may also cause the keyboard avert functioning. If you have USB keyboard, Unplug it and try to plug it into another USB port. In case you have PS slash 2 port keyboard, make sure to turn off the computer before you unplug the keyboard. Check 2. Dirt and lint built up within the keyboard keys can cause the keyboard to become stuck. Turn your keyboard upside down and gently shake it. This will remove dust that might be preventing the keys from functioning properly or you can use vacuum cleaner to clean the dust. Check 3. The driver of the keyboard might be missing or needs to be updated. If your keyboard came with a software disk, insert it into your computer to reinstall the driver. Otherwise, perform the following steps. Step 1. Open control panel from start menu and select the keyboard option. Step 2. Click the Hardware tab, check the keyboard that you are using and then double-click on it. Step 3. Click on Properties, select the Driver tab, click on Update Driver and then follow the instructions. After you have finished, restart your computer. Mouse Problem In case your mouse stops working, there are several checks you can go through to resolve the problem. Check 1. 
Check your computer whether the mouse is properly connected to the USB port or the PS2 connector. Unplug the mouse from your computer and plug it back again. Check 2. Clean the bottom of the mouse if it does not move smoothly. Use damp and soft cotton cloth with lens cleaner or use mild soap to clean the bottom surface. Remember that you clean the mouse pad too. Check 3. Check the pointer settings if mouse pointer moves very slow or too fast. For this, follow these steps. Step 1. Open control panel from start menu and select the mouse option. Step 2. Select the hardware tab, select properties and then driver tab. Step 3. Update the OEM drivers if the mouse does not appear to be working with Windows. Printer problem There are many instances when printer stops working, maybe due to any reason. You can resolve this issue by performing simple checks. Check 1. Make sure that the printer is properly plugged into electric socket and the power is on and the printer cable is properly connected from the printer to the computer. Check 2. Updating the printer driver on your computer may work. Printer problems sometimes stem from out-of-date driver software and can be solved by installing or reinstalling the latest driver. To uninstall the printer, Step 1. Click on Start button. Click on Control Panel and select Devices and Printers option. Step 2. Left click on the printer and select Delete. Click on Yes if prompted. To install the printer, Step 1. Click on Start button. Select Devices and Printers option. Step 2. Select the Add Printer option. Step 3. Follow the instructions. Restart the computer after installing the printer. Enable Hibernate. What is Hibernate? Hibernate is a power management mode that saves power by powering down the system. In Hibernate mode, the current state of the system is saved to the hard drive and the system will turn off. When a user turns the system on, the saved information is read from the hard disk, restoring the last used settings. Hibernate can be enabled using the command prompt. Step 1. Click on Start button and type CMD in the search box. Single click on the cmd.exe file. Step 2. The command prompt will appear. Type power cfg slash hibernate on and press enter. Enabling hibernate using the control panel. Step 1. Click on start, open control panel and then click on power options. Step 2. Click on the left side, hover mouse pointer on change when the computer sleeps and click on change advanced power settings. Step 3. Click on Advanced Power option and window expands the sleep tree. Then expand Hibernate after and change the minutes to 0 to turn it off. Step 4. Change the Allow Hybrid Sleep setting to Off mode and click on OK button. Hibernate option will appear in Start menu as the part of Power option.